Hi guys, I'm so excited to share our updated basement bathroom with you. It looks so much better and I can't wait to share it with you. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that we renovated so much in our house and the basement bathroom really needed some work and it's just been on our list for a while. So I was really happy to partner with Collective Bias to beautifully make over our bathroom. All of the products that will be featured in this video can be found at Lowe's stores. So let me go ahead and show you what my bathroom looked like before we did anything to it. So this is our lovely basement bathroom before we did anything to it. So you can see we have the closet drawer off the hinges. We don't have a shower curtain. We did have the walls patched up and sanded quite a while ago, but we haven't put any paint on the walls yet. And you might have seen we have a sticker on the toilet. And we have this lovely light fixture here. Do you think we might need to change our light fixture? And then we just have, you know, some inexpensive light switch covers and nothing really fancy in here. We have some outdated towel and toilet paper holders as well. I like to start by looking at paint samples at Lowe's. So I picked up this Mystic C, which I think is such a beautiful color, but I always want to try it out on the wall because the lighting plays such a part in how your paint will look. It might look different than it does on the sample or in the can, especially in the basement when the, where there's no real natural light coming in. I always paint a large strip of the wall and let it dry and then I check it during different times of the day to make sure that I love the color. You want to make sure you love the color before you go and buy the paint or spend all that time painting your walls. Here we removed our crusty old towel rack and I needed to fill in the holes that were left. I also uh, wanted to sand down the outline of the old rack just to make sure that the walls were smooth. I used my finger here initially to fill in the holes with spackle. Then I used the putty knife to smooth out what I just did with my finger just to make sure it's a clean surface to paint on. I had one spot that I still needed to sand from where the guys had come in when we had the rest of the house done. They mudded and sanded the walls but uh, forgot one spot so I actually had to do something. And here I'm just sanding down this section of the wall into the garbage can so I can get ready to paint. So after doing the sample, I love that color. I think it's perfect for a basement bathroom. It just really brightens it up. So we went back to Lowe's and we got our Valspar Signature Paint in Satin Finish and the color is the Mystic C. Here I'm taping off the ceiling. I have to admit that I can't stand uh, taping and cutting in, so a lot of times I'll have Jennifer do it. And to be honest with you, she normally does a better job because I get uh, like bored. <laughs> so another reason I usually have Jennifer do this is because I don't put a thick enough strip of paint on and when you start rolling the roller is not going to go all the way to the edge so you need to have good coverage. Here I'm loading up my roller with paint and you want to make sure that you get enough paint on there but just so it's not dripping off when you're trying to paint. And then I start covering the walls. A lot of you I'm sure already know how to paint but we've had a lot of questions about technique and tips and things like that. So I'm uh, doing some hand motions and shadow puppets while I'm <laughs> painting here. But you can see even as I'm painting there um, what I was pointing out is that 
the roller tends to get excess paint on the edges and what I do is I just roll that excess off as I'm painting and then I go back over that. So a lot of people have trouble with uneven lines and too much paint you can see it right there and what I do is I just carefully go back over it and just smooth it out. So if you do that over and over again as you're going across in small sections you'll find out that you have a much more even job when you're finished. And you know I had to paint the closet. I have officially painted all of the closets in our house. I think this color is so beautiful. And this is a light fixture I picked out. I love it. It is an Allen and Roth light fixture. We got this at Lowe's. You definitely want to check your space and make sure you get the right size of light fixture. Here we have my dad's hands connecting our light fixture and he was a big help during the whole project. Uh, I'll just give you a little caveat here. If you don't feel comfortable with electrical, get an electrician. But if you do, uh, it's usually pretty simple. It's just a matter of matching up the wires. Uh, all of these light fixtures will have instructions that you can follow. But it is important to have the light switch off and also the breaker off so that you don't run the risk of electrocuting yourself. So this is our installed light fixture. This is one of my favorite things. I think it looks so nice in here and so much better than the one hanging down. We ended up keeping our existing vanity because it was set into the existing tile and I just wasn't up to doing tile work. When painting baseboards, you want to make sure that the wall paint that you just did is completely dry before you start taping. As much as I like to think I can paint freehand, I do need to tape things off. And here I'm just making sure that I get the corners really well. And it's also important to make sure that your tape is really tight against the wall. Otherwise, it bleeds under the tape and it causes a big mess. Woohoo! We are changing out the towel holders. And I found this three pack, which was perfect. It has a toilet paper holder and two towel holders. And this is Allen and Roth. We got this at Lowe's as well. These Allen and Roth fixtures are really easy to install. You just pound in a couple of anchors and then screw into them with this bracket and uh, makes it really sturdy so that you don't have things falling off the walls or always coming loose. Now I'm ready to install the towel holder on the wall and the key to the whole thing is this little pin. You just screw this into the bottom and it'll keep it sturdy. Now we actually have a towel holder by the sink so we can dry our hands if we use this bathroom. And then here is the other towel holder which we will use for bath towels and this looks so much better than the other one. And here is the lovely toilet paper holder, much better than the other one as well. I loved that I was able to find so many products in one store that all coordinate. So I really liked the brush nickel and Ellen and Roth had so many products that I was able to choose from. I got the shower curtain rod and the shower curtain rings and they coordinate with everything else that I got. This looks so much better than the white shower curtain rod that I did have hanging without a shower curtain. 
Switching out your light switch covers or outlet covers is a great way to update a space. We found these at Lowe's and these are Allen and Roth as well. I also picked up this soap dispenser, this trash can, and this toilet bowl brush with a container. And these are all Allen and Roth. They look so nice and again, they coordinate really well with everything that I got. All right, guys, are you ready for the big reveal? I think it looks so much better. We are so happy with our little bathroom in our basement. It is just beautiful. We even took the sticker off the toilet. I love this paint color. I think it's so pretty and perfect for a basement bathroom. It really brightens up the space. I love all of the brush nickel. I really love the light fixture. And I especially love that I could just get everything at Lowe's and I didn't have to go running to tons of different stores trying to coordinate everything. It was just really easy to pick up everything I needed. I didn't go crazy with decor. I wanted to keep it simple since it is a small space. I didn't want it to look too cluttered. I found a nice fluffy rug and just added you know, a few simple touches. The base boards look so much better. I'm really thankful for my father-in-law who installed those for us. Here's one last look at the bathroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love how everything turned out. Thank you so much for watching.